Our hearts have to be right. I do not ask about your outward life. I don't ask about your intellectual life or your financial status or your social life. I'm asking about your heart. What about your heart? Dig deep into your heart tonight in your thinking. How are you toward God? Are you right with God? The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. And before you can prepare to meet God, your heart has to be right. And your heart has to be touched by the Holy Spirit. Now, what does the Bible teach about the heart? The Bible teaches that our hearts are sinful. They're sinful. Mine is, yours is, we're born with it from Adam and Eve. It's passed on from generation to generation. And the Bible says, first of all, that our hearts are full of evil imaginations. Proverbs 6, 18, a heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. What do you imagine? What are your fantasies? What do you fantasize about? And then secondly, the Bible says, the heart is desperately wicked and deceitful. Jeremiah 17, 9, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? That's your heart. That's what the Bible thinks of your heart. That's what God thinks about your heart and my heart. Our Bi the Bible says the heart is far from God in Matthew 15. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. How many of us go to church and sing? How many of us go to church and listen to the clergyman? How many of us outwardly live a fairly good life, but our heart is far from God? We don't have that experience with Christ in which he's in our hearts all day long and we think about him and pray to him and he's close to us. But he should be. And we're not bearing in our bodies and lives the fruit of the Spirit which is love and joy and peace and gentleness, faithfulness. And then the Bible says our hearts are treasury of evil. Mark 7, Jesus said, for within, out of the heart, proceed evil thoughts. Evil thoughts come from the heart. Adulteries. You might commit adultery with your body, but it starts in the heart and in the mind. And fornications and murders, and thefts, and covetousness, and wickedness, and deceit, lasciviousness, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these things, the Bible, Jesus said, come from the heart. So the most important thing in the world for you tonight is to be sure that your heart is right with God and that you have been forgiven of all those things.